Barbara Snow Therapist Barbara W. Snow is a practicing therapist based out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Snow was a central figure in the satanic ritual abuse moral panic in Utah in the late 1980s and early 1990s. In 2008, Snow was placed on probation for violating codes of ethics and professional conduct. Snow was the therapist of Teal Swan and played a heavy influence on Swan's healing techniques. Academic Career In the 1980s, Snow was a member of the Association of Mormon Counselors and Psychotherapists, AMCAP, and published research centered on the issue of sexual abuse. In collaboration with Tina Sorensen, Snow developed a framework that identified four stages children go through when disclosing sexual abuse. According to the study, the first stage, denial, occurs when a child claims the abuse did not happen. Disclosure is subdivided into two phases, tentative and active, which occurs when a child acknowledges the occurrence of abuse. Recant is a retraction of a prior disclosure. The final stage, reaffirm, is the final reassertion that the abuse happened. Also in collaboration with Sorensen, in 1990 Snow authored a major academic article that helped fuel the satanic panic titled Ritualistic Child Abuse in a Neighborhood Setting. The study supported the notion that secretive ritualistic abuse was widespread but difficult to detect. The abstract states, the majority of children showed little symptomology at initial referral with significant increases during the disclosure process. This study suggests that ritual abuse in neighborhood settings appears secretive, coercive, and complex. The study attributes the difficulty in detection in part to disassociation and repression of memories by victims. Therapeutic Career in the 1980s, Snow worked as the clinical director of the Intermountain Sexual Abuse Treatment Center in Salt Lake City. Snow was involved in a string of prosecutions in Utah during the 1980s. She led the investigation that in December 1986 convicted Arden Bullock of sexually abusing his children. The case was appealed to the Utah State Supreme Court in 1989, which upheld the conviction but criticized Snow's disturbing and irresponsible conduct. Snow responded to the criticism by saying, Probably the best statement is simply that the jury heard the information that I heard, and they convicted him on felony counts. It was my role to offer the information that the children had offered me. I testified to what I had heard and what I had seen. In 2018, a daughter and son-in-law of Russell M. Nelson, President, Barbara Snow was the therapist of the accusers in the 1980s, a fact used by defense attorneys to discredit both the lawsuit and the therapeutic techniques used in uncovering the memories of the alleged abuse. The suit was dismissed in July 2020 due to it exceeding the statute of limitations. Lahai Child Sexual Abuse Scare Probation in 2008, Snow agreed to probation by the Utah Division of Occupational and Professional Licensing to avoid protracted litigation for violating the Utah Codes of Professional Conduct and ethical principles defined by the National Association of Social Workers. The state alleged that Snow had convinced her relatives that they were victims of satanic ritual abuse and military testing and that Snow provided fabricated notes from her sessions. Snow admitted to destroying her relative's computer with a baseball bat. Teal Swan, Nil Swan Barbara Snow was the therapist of noted mystic Teal Swan in the early 2000s. Swan uncovered suppressed memories during therapy sessions with Snow. Swan said of Snow, I still consider her to be one of the best psychologists that I have been to. When I started telling her the stories about what was going on with me in childhood, she literally just started crying. It was actually the first time I had a therapist cry. Snow had Swan file a police report with the local police department, calling the police on Swan's behalf. Police interviewed Swan with Snow in the room during which Swan disclosed recovered memories of abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, portal to another universe. The police began a preliminary criminal investigation. They performed a medical exam, but found no evidence of ritual abuse. After looking into Snow's background, 
The police did not feel it should not be prosecuted because of Snow's involvement. Snow's therapeutic methods played a significant influence in Swan's completion process methods. Snow continues to believe satanic ritualistic abuse SRA is a problem, but feels the term is too general. In 2018 she wrote, it's not accurately portrayed by the generalized term SRA. Child abuse in this context may include anyone or combination of the following. Multi-dimensional child abuse, sex rings, medical slash military sponsored mind control, commercial pornography, and domestic sex trafficking of children, etc. Publications Mild to Wild Assessment and Treatment of Sexually Abused Children ANCAP Journal 11 Mar 1985, 84 minus 88 Ritualistic Child Abuse in a Neighborhood Setting with Tina Sorensen Journal of Interpersonal Violence, Vol. 5 Nova 4, pp. 474-487 How Children Tell, The Process of Disclosure in Child Sexual Abuse, with Tina Sorensen, Child Welfare 1991, 